Alfred Herrhausen was a giant in the world of finance. As the head of Deutsche Bank, he was one of the most powerful bankers in the world. He was known for his sharp intellect, bold vision, and unwavering determination. Herrhausen was born in Germany in 1930. He joined Deutsche Bank in 1952 and rose through the ranks quickly. In 1985, he became the bank's CEO. Herrhausen took charge of Deutsche Bank at a pivotal moment. The world of finance was changing rapidly. Globalization was on the rise and technology was transforming the industry. Herrhausen saw these changes as opportunities. He wanted to make Deutsche Bank a global leader. Many within Deutsche Bank resisted his changes, preferring the old ways. These internal struggles created tension. Herrhausen's time at the helm of Deutsche Bank was marked by both triumph and tragedy. He achieved remarkable success in transforming the bank. However, his life was cut short by a senseless act of violence. Alfred Herrhausen had a clear vision for Deutsche Bank. He wanted to make it a global powerhouse. He believed that the bank needed to expand beyond its traditional German base. He saw opportunities in the emerging markets of Asia and Latin America. He also pushed for greater integration with the financial centres of London and New York. Herrhausen understood the importance of technology. He invested heavily in modernising Deutsche Bank systems. He wanted to create a bank at the forefront of financial innovation. Herrhausen's vision extended beyond the balance sheet. He believed that Deutsche Bank had a social responsibility. He spoke out against apartheid in South Africa and called for debt relief for developing countries. Herrhausen's vision was ambitious and controversial. Some criticised his focus on globalisation, arguing he was neglecting the bank's traditional German customers. Others questioned his commitment to social responsibility. They saw it as a distraction from the bank's core business. Alfred Herrhausen's ambitious plans for Deutsche Bank did not go unchallenged. His push for modernization and globalization sparked fierce resistance. Many long-time employees felt threatened by his changes. They saw his reforms as a betrayal of the bank's traditions. The old guard clung to the hierarchical structures of the past. They valued personal relationships and backroom deals. They were suspicious of Herrhausen's embrace of technology. The clash reflected a broader societal conflict. Germany, in the late 1980s, was grappling with its identity. The Berlin Wall still stood, symbolising division. Herrhausen's vision threatened those who clung to the past. His response to resistance was firm but measured. He understood the anxieties of his critics. He tried to address their concerns. He engaged in dialogue and made concessions. However, he never wavered in his commitment to his vision. He believed that change was essential for the bank's survival. The late 1980s were a time of profound change on the world stage. The Cold War was coming to an end. The Berlin Wall would soon fall. The Soviet Union was on the verge of collapse. These momentous events created a sense of both hope and uncertainty. The fall of the Berlin Wall had a particularly profound impact on Germany. It marked the end of decades of division and opened up new possibilities for economic and political integration. Herrhausen recognised these opportunities. He saw the potential for Deutsche Bank to play a leading role in the reunification of Germany and the integration of Eastern Europe into the global economy. The late 1980s were also a time of growing economic interdependence. Globalisation was accelerating and trade barriers were falling. Herrhausen was acutely aware of both the opportunities and the risks of globalisation. 
He believed that Deutsche Bank had a responsibility to help shape the new global order. He argued that businesses had a moral obligation to act ethically and to promote sustainable development. On the morning of November 30th, 1989, Alfred Herrhausen left his home in Bad Homburg. It was a journey he had made countless times before, as his chauffeured Mercedes approached a crossroads. A powerful bomb detonated. The explosion ripped through the vehicle, killing the driver and fatally wounding Herrhausen. The assassination sent shockwaves around the world. Despite numerous investigations, the perpetrators have never been brought to justice. Alfred Herrhausen's life was tragically cut short. However, his legacy continues to shape the world of finance. His vision of a globalized, technology-driven banking industry has become a reality. Deutsche Bank, the institution he helped to transform, is now a global financial giant. It is a testament to his vision and his leadership. Herrhausen's emphasis on social responsibility is also increasingly relevant in today's world. Businesses are facing growing pressure to address issues such as climate change. Businesses are facing growing pressure to address issues such as income inequality. Businesses are facing growing pressure to address issues such as human rights. Herrhausen recognized that businesses have a moral obligation to use their power for good. His example continues to inspire a new generation of business leaders. Herrhausen's assassination serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the enduring power of violence. It is a reminder that even in a civilized society, darkness can emerge in an instant. The fact that Herrhausen's killers were never brought to justice adds a layer of tragedy to his story. The assassination of Alfred Herrhausen continues to fascinate and frustrate investigators and historians alike. The passage of time has done little to dim the mystery surrounding his death. The lack of a definitive answer has only served to fuel speculation and conspiracy theories. The case remains a cold case, but it is far from forgotten. One of the most enduring questions surrounding the assassination is the motive. Why would anyone want to kill Alfred Herrhausen? Was it a political assassination? Was it a personal vendetta? Was it a hit ordered by business rivals who feared his power and influence? Another unanswered question is the identity of the perpetrators. While the Red Army faction was initially suspected, no credible evidence ever emerged to support their involvement. The investigation has been hampered by a lack of reliable witnesses and the passage of time. The assassination of Alfred Herrhausen remains a painful open wound in German history. The assassination of Alfred Herrhausen sent shockwaves through the worlds of finance, politics and beyond. His death was a stark reminder of the vulnerability of even the most powerful figures. It also raised questions about the safety and security of business leaders in an increasingly globalized and interconnected world. In the aftermath of Herrhausen's death, security measures for high-profile individuals were significantly enhanced. The German government increased funding for law enforcement and intelligence agencies. Businesses also began to invest more heavily in security for their executives. Herrhausen's assassination also had a profound impact on Deutsche Bank. The bank lost a visionary leader and faced a period of uncertainty and turmoil. However, the bank's strong foundations and experienced leadership team helped it to weather the storm. Herrhausen's death also sparked a broader debate about the role of business in society. Alfred Herrhausen was a complex and contradictory figure. He was a brilliant banker who helped to shape the modern financial world. 
However, he was also a controversial figure who was not afraid to challenge the status quo. He was a man of 